So as we all know, Cheapy Red just dropped his highly anticipated album this past Friday called Mansion Music, which he's been teasing recently for the past couple months which built up hype. And leading up to this Friday, it had everybody talking about it, especially due to how many features there were on the project. But in the mix of that, a couple of people were coming at Trippy for dropping music on the same day as D Savage. Now you're probably thinking, why would people be mad at that? I thought they were cool. Well, apparently they aren't. Well, at least in my opinion. Because oddly enough, D Savage himself got an album coming out called Mafia Music, where he's been teasing this project for over a year now. And announced that the first single of the project will drop on January the 20th, the same day as Trippy's album. D Savage will say this on the story the same day that him and Trippy drop the best music and only music, cause music is spelled the same way on both of their album titles, and he will follow up saying, when should I post the album cover? People be stealing stuff nowadays. Now I don't know about you, but I definitely take that as him taking jabs at Trippy, cause it's way too much of a coincidence for him to say this the same day that him and Trippy drop, and he makes it obvious too the way he's spelling music in this story, talking about this the best music that's dropping this day. I really don't know what's the issue between the two cause I thought they was on good terms, but apparently obviously they're not seeing eye to eye, and I definitely don't think Trippy Red is biting D Savage, cause first of all if you ask me the whole project is based on the homage of Chief Keef, who he himself had an old mixtape called Mansion Music 2, and it only made sense for Trippy Red to get him to executive produce this project, so no Trippy Red he's not copying D Savage, he's not biting him or anything, I really just think it was just pure coincidence and bad timing on D Savage part, and that's what happens when you start to take so long to drop a project, cause fans start getting in patient with you, you the rapper start getting mad at them, then you project that anger on another rapper, which leads to more problems and more conflict that could have been avoided. And plus, D Savage he has a track record of burning bridges and beefing with other rappers for stupid reasons, which caused him many opportunities in his career. To whereas Trippy Red nowadays he be low key and just be making music and minding his business. Don't ever pull up on me with your motherfucking security guard, Cardi. I'll beat you and your big homie up, you bitch ass nigga. Stop. Fuck DJ Academics, free weed. They're born. Uh, who? who? I don't, I don't beef with a Pierre born. I don't know who the fuck that is. So I just think if anything, D Savage just clout chasing, looking for somebody to beef with so people could start talking about him and gaining traction around the time that he's going to drop his album. But y'all let me know down below if I'm wrong about this whole situation. Am I the one reaching? Since Trippy never responded back to D Savage or gave it the time or energy to. Or you think this is a real underlying beef that a lot of people don't know about yet? Y'all let me know down below. And are y'all looking forward to Mafia music by D Savage? Or that's a pass for you. Be sure to like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Have a nice day.